How's it going, everyone? I know, long time haven't seen. Oh, one second, folks. I'm in, even though we haven't even hit August yet. I always remind myself where I come from, 206, even though I'm in Los Angeles these days. Bet you all thought I was dead. That's the rumor all the time. But don't worry. Not till I get to asking out the bare minimum. Go out like Farley, go out like Belushi, go out like the champions, know what I mean? I'm gonna be live from Saturday one day sooner than later, that's why I'm here. JDK, your future player, once again, coming to you live and hot. This particular uh, startup campaign is uh, brought to you by, please, give me donations. You can go to our website. Our website, if you aren't familiar, is www.theroad2to. SNL.com. You can click on the donation at the very bottom. It's a very expensive road. There's a lot of gas money, a lot of build up money, a lot of startup cash necessary because, you know, we got a lot of topics to cover. I just felt like I should update everyone because you're going to start seeing things coming up this next month. As soon as June, as soon as June, it's June right now as I'm leaving you this message. I mean it. As soon as June, you're going to start seeing more content coming forwards. Don't you worry. I assure you, you're going to look forward to it. This particular uh, segment in general, this entire uh, session, now we are not sponsored, we're not funded. But this episode specifically is about breaking old bets to ourselves and bringing forwards new things because sometimes things happen. So I've not had KFC in over 15 years. Don't quote me on that because we all know I'm only 15 year old, right? I'm just playing. We all know my age is ambiguous for that reason. Cast me as you see me. That said, I'm going to enjoy some KFC. Mm -mm. KFC, while I make sure and give you guys that wonderful, wonderful content tonight. Also, as well, we got this right here. Well, now, what you're not familiar right here with this is I see is this got lemonade in, and this has also iced tea. That's right, on sweet and iced tea. But I'm going to go one step further because I really appreciate dogs. Dogs are there for me. Unlike humans, every time I need something, you know what? There is one companion I can always go to. No, it's not a cat because if you go to a cat, we all know what happens. The cat will swat. Yeah, that's right. The cat will swat. Cats do not always appreciate you the way the dogs do. And every dog owner and every dog supporter knows and appreciates this here, Tito's Vodka. So this is also obviously not for the children. However, that being said, ambiguously 15, of course, but in reality, obviously, I can play a young 24, young 22. I could probably pull off a high school guy, you know, back in the 90s. They used to do that all the time, if we're not familiar. Uh, this is Tito's Vodka, handmade. It's wonderful stuff. So uh, to start off this comeback, we're going to do this comeback right. So we're going to... I'm going to load it up a little bit, okay? Once again, that's Tito's Vodka, and that's uh, lemonade and iced tea, unsweetened. Brought to you by KFC and Tito's. Definitely a friendly combination. This is how the boy Arnold did it. Now, he's older than I am, and I don't remember Arnold Palmer, but I certainly know an Arnold Palmer, because when I went to ASU, call out ASU, I certainly know. That's for all y'all folks out there like, oh, he's too light about it. And then I put a little less because, you know, I am light about it. It's okay, folks, to know your limits and stuff. I'm not a huge vodka guy. In fact, I've got this for another science project. Speaking of projects, we have a lot of projects coming down the line, so I thought I'd inform you all. Podcast is a pretty hot term these days. A lot of people are saying the term podcast. You got a podcast? You heard a podcast? Well, guess what, folks? We've been doing our video cast for, well, we were doing it almost consecutively for that one full year, and then we got into a little bit of despair, and then we moved, and then COVID happened. However, we promise you now, folks, that we're going to start getting really, really serious about this stuff. So we, too, are going to be having a podcast, but we're not going to be doing a normal run-of-the-mill podcast. No, folks, what we're going to be doing for you is a multi-tier sketch variety podcast. So we're going to have the podcasts themselves. However, they're going to be collectively installed into video content, much akin to Saturday Night Live. This is my intent and my design, that I can show Lauren and all the production company involved with SNL that I already have what it takes to be on Saturday Night Live, and that things you have to look forward to is not going to simply be the Saturday Night Live standard review podcasting like I was doing, even though it wasn't a podcast official, it was definitely 
along the same lines because I would watch the episodes and analyze them. However, this is going to be a more special derivative where what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going back in time. We're going to be going through the eras of episodes and we're going to be analyzing by the decade. We're going to be going back in time. We're going to be doing a lot of things that everyone loves to do except we're going to be doing it with love and affection. So we're not looking to cancel nothing. What we're going to be doing when we go back to these episodes is going to be looking for different takes as adults with my guests and then their commentary as far as what they remember as kids and we're going to definitely have a lot of fun with that. I have a few guests lined up. They're local LA comics that I've met, people I'm very fond of and people that have already told me how much they grew up on SNL and very much appreciate it. Then we're going to have a sports podcast. Now just keep in mind that we're also going to be having other characters from the, if you're not familiar folks, this is the Future Players Society. It's the Future Players society right so this is uh this is all society of players and performers comedians that want to be on snl but also a collective of characters that are all going to be on snl if not on snl when nbc owns the rights to everything that i have offered them up until that point then that means they're going to be characters that you all have to appreciate and enjoy but they might have to disappear for a while while i'm busy with snl and creating brand new characters for everyone to enjoy however matt foley wasn't created in a night matt foley was created from a discussion between bob odenkirk Chris Farley, and probably one other person, which is not really mentioned as often. And ultimately what it came to is that Chris was talking about a fond story of growing up with his dad, and he was impersonating his dad as he does well. And Odenkirk realized there's a lot of potential in that right there. That there is Matt Foley, the motivational speaker's origin stories. So if you're not familiar, we have a crew of Rip's Kid Duties, you know? We've got Hooligan, we've got Chad, we've got Chad's dad, we've got Bradley, little little one, you know? Yeah, we've got a few others also. There's Kyle. We're not probably going to see too much of Kyle. There's reasons why. Secretive reasons, of course. Don't you forget the mysterious manager, Carl, who is still suspect right now. And we have not seen him in an awful long time. But he is the current manager at the FPS. Chad's dad has taken over financial responsibilities for obvious reasons. The guy owns two yachts at the moment. There is rumors, though, that in his divorce, he will be losing one of the yachts. But that's all right, because if his son can get away with it. Dad Brad has been uh, analyzing and doing deep seed research and discovered something about their current mom number three, uh, so or mom number four, excuse me, and she's deadly afraid of becoming ex-wife number four, something to do with her Chinese mythos, and also the fact that she might be a ninja. We're not sure. We just know that for the time being, the finances are being secured, and that's a good thing, but we're all being forced to put more content out there because Brad's dad, Chad's dad, this guy, he only knows one thing, and that's money, basically. Other than that, he knows that he can throw his money in, in the, in, and get what he needs, usually, and that's what he intends to do. Otherwise, he's a nice old Midwest guy. Actually reminds me a lot of one of Chris Farley's characters. If you remember, Doll Bears, Doll Bears, Doll Bears, Doll Bears, Doll Bears. That's definitely very similar. And then otherwise, we're definitely going to have Hoop Street get in on it, because Hoop Street can't get away with just being Hoop Street hooligan no more, no. We can't have him be our fixer no more, no. Hoop Street, uh, his main job, if you're not familiar, is to keep me in check because I tend to lose my, lose myself all the time. See, I kept my uh, my my dialogue. I better drink so I might swear more, right? Oh, that mm, beautiful, beautiful, well made, well made. I enjoy some of this food while I do the next parts, but mostly the podcast coming up. It's gonna be TV show reviews, movie reviews, video game reviews as well as sports dialogue on a weekly basis. Oh, Digest, that's what it's going to be, Seattle Sports Digest. It's going to be a weekly digest where you can get all your sports. But what you're not familiar, I'm also going to be making sure that we have other sports podcasts going on through the week. So then what we're going to basically be doing is once a week, our Sports Digest is going to be a collective of all the other sports episodes. We're going to watch through them, and in that way, whoever wants to listen to the Seattle Sports Digest will also be able to consume the LA Local Sports uh, and probably if I'm lucky about it, I'm most likely going to find one or two Phoenix comedians to help me with this and get them on board. So we'll have a Phoenix, we'll have a Los Angeles, and then we'll have up in Washington State, of course. That will be my turf, always and forever. So look forward to that. Also, full design, so uh, there's a few more things to talk about. But before I begin... I would like to have a little more energy, so I like to turn to Red Bull for energy. Don't get me wrong, coffee's great, but not this late. I know you can't tell what time it is, but assure you folks, it's time for a Red Bull. So, once again, not sponsored. However, 
We'd love to see a few crates sent our way. Thank you very much for the energy and the flavor. I am so happy that this went from summer edition to a regular edition. And also now, the watermelon flavor has done the same thing in long times. And then, if you'd like to try, Red Bull has a new summer edition. It is dragon fruit flavored. It tastes wonderful if you mix it with a hoppy beer. I promise you, it's a secret safe with nobody. Because I just told everyone watching, everyone viewing... Speaking of which, if you're enjoying yourself, make sure and click the thumbs up. But more importantly, if you subscribe now, you're going to get in way sooner. You're definitely going to get a notice every time a new video drops. I would definitely recommend you click subscribe now before you forget. I assure you there's a lot more to come. We're only 12 minutes into this. Though I assure you also, it won't be much longer because there's only about four or five different things broken down to about four or five different things. So, you know. Maybe about 20 more minutes. I really do appreciate all of you. I really, really, truly do. This brief intermission is to test out something. Enjoy the funny face and this voice to let you know there's like 40 more minutes. However, I'm in the process of editing. So this brief intermission has been brought to you by an always learning project. Love you all. Enjoy the rest. I appreciate everybody. I've been very busy since I got to LA. Obvious reasons why I haven't been here doing this but also full disclosure uh i also have just had a very difficult time with my mental health ever since at my birthday where i turned an ambiguous age casting is still out on it but i'd say 24 22 definitely right for sure for sure um i drank a lot when i was 15 uh so I appreciate all of you. I really do. Um, and while I've been at it, I've been I've been busy. I've uh, I I went through a seriously difficult mental illness thing where I was just I was so depressed that hooligan literally had to come through and and bust in, had to get me to shave. Uh, my hair color has kind of been changing again. It's 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 pink. It's pinker now, right? I've been getting a lot of that uh, look like little pump kind of stuff. I'm okay with that, but um, I like. Legend of Zelda, so if y'all can tell right now, I got, I got the pink hair. I don't believe that I'll get in trouble with copyright if it's me doing that, but... I've been researching what I can do. That's why I did the little 10 second clip at the beginning of this video, just to experiment a little more. Now, personally, I always make sure I like to have honey with my biscuits. You know what I mean? If you hear fireworks in the background, don't mind them. That's just the neighborhood I live in. Uh, for some odd reason, there is a lot of fireworks that go down in this neighborhood. Uh, speaking of fireworks, I got myself some hot sauce, but... What's more important, folks, is that we can see that I can eat politely. It's also audition tape, 24-7. So, what I was getting at is my depression was just all-time worse. And then I finally got into the Groundlings program. So now, if y'all aren't familiar, uh, the Groundlings is a school of improv. It was started in 1970. Six. Don't quote me on that. It could have been 74. I'm pretty sure it also could have been 78 or 79. But what's most important is that you understand the Groundlings has been around for well over 30 years as a program. They are one of the only successful profit, for-profit, improv-specific and exclusive venues. Second City is another one. Uh, and UCB is a third. However, due to COVID, UCB has actually gone under. From the last I heard, there isn't a single stationary location for UCB. You can only take UCB-affiliated classes from online 
or be taught from the secondary instructor secondhand, an instructor that has already been taught from the company previous to their current dis disposition, current situation, circumstance, what you will. Second City, you can still take all their writing courses online. I would highly recommend them as a graduate. I still look forward to graduating further in their programs, taking more of their classes. In fact, if you would do anything in the world to improve your writing skills or ultimately just to learn more about improv, I would recommend you go to www.secondcity.com uh, or you could just Google search it. Uh, if you're in LA, you can go to the LA branch, Chicago, Chicago branch, Toronto, Toronto branch. However, ultimately, what I'm discussing right now is an online course program. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, folks, you can actually take Second City classes and I would highly recommend it because Groundlings is a whole other story. Now, I'm the show. And that's the facts, folks. I am the show. I am the reality. I'm the life. I'm the energy. I am everything. And Lorne Michaels himself will know when I get there that I was chosen, destined, designed, and forward in motion. This is where we head, folks. We don't stop. Speaking of don't stop, get it up. We got music goals. All right. Music goals seems like a ripe time for me to try some cold fries. Wow. I'll tell you what. Ain't no Burger King. But these Kansas City fries... Sure have a decent taste, even though they've been sitting cold for a second. I think I'll chase them down. More more this energy. No, that wasn't the best idea. I think this one's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Music goals. Well, you probably don't know. Fancy myself a bit of a singer, musician, dancer even. But this hair is growing out for a reason. Soon enough, I'm going to have a pompadour. When I got that pompadour, I'm going to expect to be jabbing like Elvis. I have full intention of doing a few different things with my musical abilities. I have some great ideas that can only fruit if I truly can sell them. And the only way for me to sell them is for me to learn. Oh, man. There you gone done it. You put on your backstages. You put on your L.A. casting. You already told them that you know how to play. Well, ain't that smart, though, isn't it? Just like how I read an article earlier today about actors lying about their height. James Gunn was so upset. But it's okay. I understand. It's the way the world works. But I'm okay with being honest with my future audience because by the time you are all subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. You all put the heart. Don't forget to like it. Most importantly... By the time I'm able to read your comments, there's a strong chance, unless you're really awesome and you comment in advance, then you get ahead of the curve. That's pretty dope. That's like super meta. But if you don't, and you come along later, and I'm already on SNL, and you're like, oh, wow, look, this is back then. Then you'll have already seen me on Weekend Update. You'll have already seen me on intros. You'll have already seen me performing musical acts in sketches. And you'll already know, by looking up my history, that when I said it in this moment right now for this update, that you all knew that I have... All these things set up. So for music, by 30 days, 30 days, I will be able to perform Weezer's The Sweater Song. By 18 days, I will have the three chords and be able to play them for the most part from memory, in session, in even moderate directions and such and so forth. The food goals, that's why we're doing this. Last day, cheat day, and enjoying that. Wonderful, wonderful. Turn to see chicken tender. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. No complaint. No complaints. To all my vegan viewers, don't you worry. This is the future, after all. I probably don't even eat chicken anymore. I probably just eat beans and garbanzos and all that good nonsense. Celery and kale and all that good stuff. I don't touch no bacon. I just fry the eggplant and throw a bunch of cumin on it. So, food goals is three core meals that I have secured and that I can do on a weekly, multiple day basis. So, we're going to talk about things like chicken and rice, which may be replaced to all my vegan lovers and viewers. I might not be doing chicken no more at that point. Then we might be talking about some fake chicken. Maybe we'll be talking about no chicken at all, just some much vegetables and our protein from. The other thing, which is two shake options, we're going to have one heavy shake for the days that I work out and one medium shake for recovery shakes for the days that I don't work out. So we're going to have three core meals and we're going to have two different types of shakes and that's going to be created within 
the daily basis. So we're going to give ourselves 17 days for that one. That's two weeks because we're going to give ourselves 28 days in a day. We're going to do 17, 14, 14 to 17 to get the food in check. But it's plenty easy. We can pull it off as long as we've got the finances, which thanks to Chad's dad, we're going to be okay. Now, a few more things. We've got about seven more minutes, then we hit the hour, and I'm not going past the hour because I know better. Dustin Hadlack, Dustin, Podcast of Dustiny. Definitely check out Podcast of Dustiny. I would highly recommend. That's one of my favorite Phoenix Comics current. Who comes to LA when he can? Dustin Hadlock is phenomenal. One of the only people that views this, though he never comments. I comment on his stuff. We all comment on his stuff. We've never seen a comment on the YouTube specific, but the Dustin Hadlock. Check it out, Podcast of Destiny. Highly recommend it. It's definitely a good podcast to monitor and view. Um, actually, if you want really good fitness tips, make sure and follow Ty Rivera, uh, world's famous LBGTQ greatest comedian, self-appointed and deserving. Ty Rivera has his own podcast, another phenomenal podcast. This one is called Unbothered with Ty Rivera. Uh, Unbothered is definitely, I would highly recommend that one as well. There's one other one that I would recommend, but I'm not going to recommend until that person puts me on their podcast because that person is LA local and knows better. They told me they want me on the podcast for very specific reasons. You know who you are because I made a point to send this to you. So put me on your podcast. Then I will promote your podcast as well on top of all my other friends and associates and podcasts. I truly would not promote. I know other podcasts that I could promote right now. <clears throat> Jeffrey died, <clears throat> but I don't because they're not cool. I don't care much for them as much as I do for quality content, things that really matter. The Hearthstone, the Hearthstone, the things that comedy really matters, right? So sleep in mind is the easy one. I'm going to cut out caffeine. I'm going to try and get it down to about 2,000 milligrams every three to four days. Now, you think that is an easier, harder goal, but you're going to understand how many milligrams for a loan. Let's say this one right here is already sitting at 114 milligrams, and I could drink about two or three of these before I feel it. I should have slammed all this stuff beforehand, but it's more important that I come to you guys real and raw. So I want to do attempt to learn three poses within approximately seven days. It's like a week, but we'll see seven to 14 is more than fair for me. This is a very difficult thing. These are all things that will occur. So I want to learn at least three yoga poses that I can consecutively do. And uh, that said, the most important thing, I'm going to 10 minutes daily for 28 days. Once again, the 28 days is a good one. Not... For any reason other than 28 Days Later, of course, of course. I'm a big fan of that movie, 28 Days Later. It's a wonderful movie. Check it out. Alaska, freaking vampires. It's scary stuff. Got Josh in it. Josh is such a beautiful actor. I miss him. He's he's not in as, as much films as he used to be. What a wonderful actor Josh is. So, we're going to affirm our goals for 10 minutes daily as well. That's 28 Day to Day as well. As you can notice, the 28 Days. So, we've got 10 minutes of yoga 10 minutes of meditation, 10 minutes of positive affirmations. That needs to be specific. Affirmation of goals is quite literally me, what I just did right here. But every morning or every afternoon, every chance I get, but most likely this is going to be one of the first things I do when I wake up. So I'm going to spend 10 minutes only, 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 only with my positive, all my things that I'm working toward, all my things that I'm going to be looking forward to in that day, in the next day, in the future, but I'm going to work to keep it anchored into close to home. Like, for example, tomorrow morning, one of the main things I'm going to be doing is manifesting the best sales possible when I go to pick up all the groceries for this following week because groceries can get expensive. The thing I'm going to be manifesting is I'm going to be manifesting a phone call from a girl that I've been texting or a girl that I'm interested in. What I'm going to be manifesting is I'm going to be manifesting Lauren Michaels himself or any production team members giving me a phone call. And that's a big one, but it's a consistent one. For me... It's all about getting on to Saturday Night Live so that I can step on to the next level, which is showing them what I've got, giving them everything I have, and then going to the next level past that level, which I know will only be revealed to me once I'm there. That's how this works, folks. One step at a time. So anyways, this has been a wonderful, 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 wonderful time. I'm so happy to bring you all back in the fold. I look forward to making another post in the near coming couple days. I actually really look for, I've heard great things. I, I haven't had a chance to see them because I've been too busy losing my mind and trying not to get kidnapped by the enemies of humanity. Stay tuned about that one, folks. Enemies of humanity are very, very, very real. Why do you think my hair is pink? No, I had to 
get away. They are very real. And they are looking for me. But for some reason, they're also very, very dumb. Very dumb. So while I was away, apparently Chad's dad got on the amp load. And so we got coming forward to you. Now I have to edit. Obviously, they're making me edit everything because I'm the only one that actually does anything. I was like, let Dab do the editing. And they're like, no, Dab can't edit things he's been in. So anyways... Coming very soon to you, maybe nearly by the end of this week, possibly as soon as Friday or Saturday, we're going to have reviews from Dad Bradley and Hooligan. Also, stay tuned. we got lots of Instagrams and things to follow. I love you all. Once again, click subscribe if you haven't already. Click like if you haven't already. Make sure and comment. Talk shit. Tell happiness. Just let me know what's good. I don't mind what you do. I'm just looking for your love, publicity, facts. That's it. Let's throw them hard. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want more of. Let me know when I need that Botox because you know you ain't looking 20 enough. I love y'all. Peace, blessings, and uh, thank you for the privilege even though you don't pay me and nothing else accordingly, but I appreciate this chicken KFC. I appreciate this Red Bull, and I love everyone. I really do. Y'all are just beautiful people. Cue the music.